Hundreds of students walk across Nicholson Drive near the entrance to Tigerland each weekend. But one woman says she avoids it because it's not worth the risk. It's a, like a bad area, and when the children get out, the kids get out of the club, it's dangerous when they cross in the street. Sonia says the dark intersection makes it hard for people to be seen. She adds that drivers are often inconsiderate of the people walking on the sidewalk, a problem that now hits close to home. I lost a friend across there. He was crossing the streets, and the, I guess the car didn't see him, and they just bump. They hit him. Sonia isn't the only person scared across this street. Many LSU students have the same anxiety, which has only increased since 19 year old Sarah James was killed crossing the road last month. Now, the city wants to make sure that doesn't happen again. We're going to be adding several street lights over at uh, Nicholson between East Boyd and Bob Pettit Jennifer Jean. The East Baton Rouge Department of Public Works is working with DOTD, Entergy, and traffic engineers to bring more light to Nicholson. Starting by first increasing the light bulb watts on the street lights that are already there, and then adding new street light poles. It can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to a month, depending on how many people have to sign off on it. We've already spoken to Energy about what we want, and they're getting stuff together. So hopefully, we can shorten the process as much as we can. For those that have been waiting for the new safety measures, the street lights can't come soon enough. I'm glad that they're coming in to change, and it should have been better changes in that and wait till people get killed. Once the city has approval from DOTD, the work can start as soon as possible. Kara St. Cyr, NBC Local 33 News.